Struggling with arthritis pain and considering stem cell therapy as a treatment? I get that question all the time. Join me on this video and we'll explore options and where you might even be able to get this type of treatment. This is Dr. P. If you have a problem with your knee, call Dr. P otherwise known as Dr. Mark Petropoli. Today we're gonna to talk about stem cell treatments and I first wanna use a little disclaimer in that technically there is no such thing as stem cell treatment in the United States. We're not allowed to take cells from your bone marrow or your fat, which is the two most common places where stem cells are harvested, especially the bone marrow, send it off to a lab, culture it, grow it, and then inject it back into your body. We're not allowed to grow it in the lab unless we have a specific license or a research study that's been approved and funded. So in the United States, we cannot actually perform stem cell injections. We can concentrate the bone marrow, concentrate the cells from adipose or fatty tissue and inject those into areas and that helps. People oftentimes call those stem cell treatments, but they're really bone marrow concentrate or adipose or fat concentrate treatments. We might be better just calling them cell treatments in the United States. Now in other countries, and if you read Tony Robbins book, he went out of the country and got stem cell treatments, true stem cell treatments for his shoulder. Apparently he tore his rotator cuff, which is one of the tendons in the shoulder. I believe he went out of the country and received stem cells from human placenta, which is gonna be normally thrown away and not used for anything anyway, but it does have stem cells in it and young stem cells in it. And there is some evidence that those may have tremendous healing properties. It's just, they're not allowed in the United States yet. So yes, you can go out of the country. You can get stem cell treatments. I have a patient who went to Mexico and got similar treatments. Now, the only problem with that is I would ask a lot of questions. First of all, I would do a lot of research. I would go online. I would check out reviews. I would check out what type of certifications. I would make sure they're actually physicians, whether it's MDs or DOs, actual doctors who are doing this. I would ask a lot of questions. I would even see if I get references and talk to people. But the problem that I have with that is you don't really know exactly what you're gonna be getting when you go to another country. And that just worries me. In the United States, at least with myself, I only use tissues right from you. Okay, I'm able to concentrate the bone marrow cells. They don't go out of the room. They literally stay in the room. You see them, we concentrate them, and then inject them into your knee, your shoulder, wherever it's gonna be. So you can get true stem cell treatments. There are places in other countries where they'll take your cells, they'll culture them, meaning they'll grow them in a lab and multiply them and inject them back in as well. And again, I don't have any experience with those types of clinics. I just know they exist and people do go there. So I have a list of things that maybe you should consider before you go do that. And I wrote some of these things down because this was a question that I had. So first things first, you know, where can I get these? Again, look it up online. I, I looked, I did a short search and at least 20 places came up overseas where these clinics exist. I would consult your own medical professional first. So talk to your own doctor about, hey, I'm considering doing this. Your own doctor might say, no, you have lymphoma, you have a blood cancer, you should not be doing that. You should not be taking your bone marrow and having them culture that and inject it back into you. That might spread the cancer. I'm just giving one example, but always talk to your own doctor first. They know you better than any doctor will anywhere else, especially overseas. Look for reputable clinics and medical centers that offer these treatments. Again, that's hard, but there are some American physicians and medical establishments that do have clinics overseas. So you can actually get in touch with them in the United States. They have clinics overseas. I would ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Sometimes patients are afraid to ask questions. Ask a ton of questions. Ask how many they do, exact, ask exactly how they do it. Ask for references, check out the reviews, and maybe even have your own doctor call and talk to one of the doctors there to see if your own doctor thinks it's a reputable place. I think that's very helpful. You also wanna be aware of exaggerated claims. Let's say you tore your ACL 20 years ago and they're telling you that they can grow back an ACL. That's probably an exaggerated claim. Let's say you tore your rotator cuff 
15 years ago and it's a complete tear and it's retracted. Your own doctor, your own orthopedic surgeon says, there's no way we can repair that. We have to put a shoulder replacement in there. Okay, that's fine. You can, there are other options for shoulder replacements too, but if they're gonna tell you that they can grow back a new rotator cuff just by injecting some cells into your shoulder, that's not gonna happen. That's why, no offense to Tony Robbins, but I highly doubt he had a full thickness rotator cuff tear where the tendon was torn off the bone and retracted and there was a gap there. Maybe there was a partial tear, maybe there was a small hole, but it wasn't pulled off the bone and retracted. I have not seen any evidence of injecting any type of cells or any type of treatment into a tear of a rotator cuff or any tendon that's pulled apart and it magically filling back in, especially a rotator cuff. So talk to the clinic, find out what they're claiming they can do, and then talk to your own doctor about it or get an opinion from an orthopedic surgeon or someone who does a lot of regenerative medicine in the United States. They can help you out. Another thing is to consider other treatments. It doesn't always have to be that you need to get quote unquote stem cells. There's a lot of alternative treatments like laser treatment. We have laser in our office, no needles, no shots, no known side effects, very, very safe. And a lot of times we can get people better without having to put any needles into them. No, it's not invasive, completely non-invasive. And that's another option. So to summarize, yes, you can go overseas and get true stem cell treatments. I, I applaud you for that. I mean, yes, I'm a big believer in using our own parts, keeping our own parts, using our own tissues to heal ourselves. We have amazing healing properties in our own bones, in our own blood. We use those every day in our clinic to help people heal. I just think the risks of going overseas, the unknowns, being out of the country, not knowing the rules and the regulations, to me, the risks are, are too high as opposed to the rewards and the cost a lot of times is even more expensive. You're only getting a shot and it might cost twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Plus you have to go fly over there, you have to get a hotel and that's all you get. We have a lot of treatments. We use a multifaceted approach where we are using very similar treatments, but we're using your own cells, which I always think is better. There's no chance of rejecting or anything like that. We're using your own blood, but we also do a lot of other things. We do laser treatments, we do total body fitness, we do weight loss, we do genetic-based nutrition. So it's a multi-pronged approach. It's not just about going overseas and getting one stem cell shot. It's not a magic bullet. It's great, but it's not a magic bullet. It requires a multifaceted approach. So we offer, that's what we offer. That's our philosophy, as opposed to just saying, hey, you need one shot, see you later. We don't do that. So again, do a lot of research. If you have any questions, call us. Remember, if you have a problem with your knee, Call Dr. P.